one city, uh, a few villages that were famous for some sort of craft and a lot of them were Germanic speaking. Uh, for example, the, the city that we are heading towards, the Banska Bistrica, was uh, famous for the, the mining industry since the 12th century and that was also established by a remote uh, uh, culture, uh, famous and uh, city located uh, architecture. It has been protected here since the 19th century but also like uh, the small villages uh, protect their houses. Uh, pretty early in this country so due to this you can find a fantastic looking uh, wooden architecture in these villages uh, built of trunks and uh, as we are going towards our lunch and I want you to look to your right that's the castle of Shirok it's a medieval castle uh, this area was a very important uh, uh, line of resistance when uh, the Turkish invaded Hungary. So they came from the south. Yeah. Now it's nice and sunny. Good. I Hello guys, I'm pretty sure this is our sixth day on this um, tour. Right now we're in Slovakia, just like going, we're just stopping here, a little pit stop to eat lunch and stuff. So um, right now we're just on top of this tower of the olive um, thing right now. So um, now we're going to be going to um, Hungary. So we're going to be in Budapest. We'll see you there. the dog.
unfortunately. Oh, it's, it's a long time I haven't been around, sorry, I, I should have pointed that out. It's, it's not visible in, it, in its entire beauty, but that's, that's what I'm talking about. And uh, this, is, uh, this is the Great Boulevard, we're crossing now, and, the, and it's coming up. The, the hotel is coming up in probably 10 minutes. Depends on the traffic. The train station. This is the Grand Boulevard. And when you step out from your hotel door and you don't follow the way like we did, but you turn to the left okay, side, in about two, three minutes, you reach this ring road. So in 1896, more than a hundred years ago, Hungary has celebrated a thousand years anniversary of the Hungarian tribe of settling down. You see the seven horsemen in the very center point. And we came in seventh castle. This is the only one pavilion of the world exhibition what we've managed to rebuild after the expo. And now this is a museum area, but lovely courtyards. And some more of our Sejcheni Thermobats. This is the one which is based on its natural source of hot thermal water spring. The temperature of that water is 72, 78 degrees centigrade and it has got indoor and outdoor, you know, facilities for the guests to just get the recreation to the lab. Look at the this garden. is a new museum. Cool. This is a museum of ethnography, which oh, is wow. all about folk art and folk traditions. Wow. But look, look at the, the whole garden, you know, what they have made. They've built, I don't know how many thousands of Scani sites, sort of uh, way that's the Solfege method. Whole island is using, you know, that method for their music education, so as Hungary is. And the next uh, corner has got another music pilgrim place for anybody who likes our street, you know, going octagon. And you see. Now, if you fancy to have a nice cocktail and a nice stroll, and maybe visit the Academy of France list that's a square on your left side, this square. And the very back of this has got a beautiful Art Nouveau big architecture wow. of a house. Wow. And we've got a reputation to perform with the second best acoustic in Europe after Scala in Milan, on the second largest beautiful. stage after Covent Garden. And this building was kind of very exceptional because even though this city suffered, this is where the shoes are. Okay, so if you want to have the pilgrim, you know, to the Holocaust shoes, straight down from Basilica, Chambridge, go down to the lower embankment, go upstream to Parliament, and that's where the shoes are. I cannot get you down there because simply weekends they're closing it up. It's only for pedestrians. Wow. So tomorrow, cars will go there you can walk there but today it's only a pedestrian area can you see down you can jog there you can walk there but you don't see a single car you know driven along the embankment it's the mayor's id you know uh, <laughs> so i'm telling you this is a lovely point and up above left side is where the royal palace is and that's where the national gallery is in my opinion left part is wow. more for museum the right part is more for visit and that's where fisherman's bastion is that's where the old coronation church is and you can relate everything to this bridge chain bridge now the bridge cannot be walked
onto the Elizabeth Bridge. Look then, left, down, uh, upstream, and you see the domes of the Parliament building, spiky towers of the Parliament building. That's a landmark of the Pest side, a 96 meter high dome. Look on your right and you see how many more bridges we've got downstream. Seven bridges altogether. But decorated, gold gilded, stained glass colorful windows. You know, the Bima where the Torah is, you know, and the speeches has to be addressed. You know, to the community is not in the middle, but it has got a Bima. The biggest synagogue of uh, Europe, one of the biggest of the world scale, is you can just uh, estimate the importance and significance of the Jewish community just by looking at the uh, big plane. <laughs> Thank you. 